Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Essential Style. So a few weeks ago, my wife and I went up to the Ridge Hill Mall in Yonkers, New York. It's maybe about a 20 or 30 minute drive from the Astoria Queens section, just above the Bronx, basically, just above New York City and the New York area. And we visited the LL Bean store, I ended up returning a jacket, but there was a couple of other cool jackets and cool flannels, so I wanted to talk about it. So I have some footage I will be looking at on my computer. All right, so you walk into the store. The store is actually pretty nice. They have some gloves, they have some hats, they have a, you know, it's really a nice place to be. They had some interesting type of hooded sweatshirt, it looked like, pretty cool. They do have some, now they do have a, quite a bit of scotch plaid flannel shirts. I'm actually wearing one right now. These are my favorite flannels. I have them in the indigo tartan. I also have it in this dark blue color as well, which maybe I'll wear for another video, but it's a nice dark blue color. Let's see if I have it in the video. Yeah, it's that blue that you see right there. The blue and the, with the white in it. So pretty nice flannels. All right, right here is the quilted overshirt. It's just something that I saw. I've been thinking about getting some overshirts. Um, you know, it's overshirts are actually pretty decent or shirt jackets rather. Something that I just feel like, you know, you could just very casually throw on if it's a bit chilly out. And then when it gets even cooler out, you could actually also just layer them, oh, layer them over or rather layer a jacket over them. So I thought this one was pretty decent. Didn't blow me away. So overall pretty decent. I wasn't blown away. This next jacket is actually a jacket that I want. It is a packable waterproof down jacket. I'm sure this thing is just as warm, if not warmer, than the jackets that I have, which is the J. Crew Parker jacket and the Shot NYC Peacoat. So, but this jacket, it's a bit short. I probably get it in a medium tall length, just so that it can cover if I'm wearing a sport coat or a suit jacket. I really like this jacket, how it's just black. I'm, I'm into black jackets lately. They just go with everything and you, you can't go wrong with a black jacket. So that also comes in this nice navy blue color with a red or orange zipper. I have this jacket right there you see in the background. That jacket is the L.L. Bean Packable Prima Loft jacket. I really enjoy that jacket. If you've seen my videos before, I always talk about that jacket. Similar color, kind of nice. I don't like the, I don't like how it's such like a faded navy blue. I like dark navy blue and black. I don't like the whole faded look. It just looks kind of weird to me. There we go, also comes in black, and it also comes in orange, if you could see it in the back over there. That's the same jacket. That would be great for riding your bike at night in the winter, for example. That'd be right up my alley. It would also be great if you're out there skiing or you know snowboarding or whatever. People can pick you out really easily. I wouldn't go with the orange jacket for that. What I would do is I would just get like a cheap $10 bright orange vest to wear over the black jacket because the orange jacket, in my opinion, you're, you're gonna get you're gonna get tired of it pretty fast unless you absolutely love orange, but you're not gonna be able to dress it up at all. It is a strictly casual garment, and this jacket is about $330, so this is not cheap. So my opinion, or rather my advice would be, just get an orange vest, like a construction vest, to wear over the black jacket, or the blue jacket if you want, but I like navy blue or black. If it's gonna be that lighter color, medium navy blue, faded navy, I'd rather just go with charcoal. Charcoal gray, that is. All right, this next jacket is going to be the main mountain parka. One thing I like about LL Bean parkas is they seem to use real down. My J. Crew parka jacket is synthetic down. I think it's Prima Loft or Thin Solate, one of the two. But it's a very heavy jacket. Like, if you pick it up, it's, it's very heavy. But one thing that I noticed with LL Bean is they use regular down, not synthetic down, so it's going to be warmer. And it's also lighter weight. And also, LL Bean jackets are the only jackets that I've tried that you do not need to waterproof and they just keep you dry for hours in the rain. I'm sure they put that technology into their down jackets and especially that waterproof down jacket we just looked at. So if I was in the market for a jacket, if I was in the market for a parka rather, I would definitely look at the main mountain parka. It's for what it is, it seems like it's really warm. It's got good length on it. You can dress it up, minimal, minimal branding lightweight, warm, and I think that fur collar comes off, but that fur collar, that fur, that fur lining on the hood, it doesn't even really stick out as much as like with the other parkas, for example. So overall, this is a decent jacket. I don't need one, but if I did, this is definitely a jacket I would look at before going back to J. Crew Banana Republic. And then the last jacket I looked at was the Mountain Classic jacket. This is just a dark blue one. I had this jacket in black for a little bit. I ended up not liking it just because it, it just felt kind of cheap to me. I got it for like a hundred bucks. It was, it was a pretty decent jacket for what it is. And if you like it, if you like the look, it's a decent jacket. I just, it just felt kind of cheap to me. And I don't know, I'd rather just 
spend $200 on a nicer feeling jacket that's going to last longer than 100 bucks on a cheaper jacket. So plus I had my Twillery jacket that I was wearing that day. Not a big deal. So ended up that jacket's not for me. So in conclusion, the Scotch plaid flannels and the slightly fitted fit, those are going to be the best for me, probably the best for you. I did try a slim fit flannel. You probably saw I did a video years ago, quite a while ago, where the slim fit, the arms were too tight on me. And this was even before I started to go to the gym. I've been going to the gym for the last year pretty regularly. So the slightly fitted is best for me and probably gonna be best for you. The standard fit really is just way too billowy, way too big for me, probably gonna be the same for you unless you just have a really disproportionate body. But if you have a normal body, it's probably go with the slightly fitted one. The quilted over shirt, this is something that's decent. I didn't really get a real chance to look at it. I don't remember the price of it, but it definitely looks like it's something nice that you can layer over a flannel or an Oxford shirt or even a t-shirt. It does come in blue. I'm sure it comes in gray. I would try to see, maybe I would get one in the dark blue and the gray, but you see again, this quilted over shirt, it, it's that blue is so bright of a navy blue. It's like that faded navy blue. I'd rather go black or gray at that point, but this one looks pretty decent if you're into it. They have some other overshirts on their on their website as well. This is the only one that I saw there. The packable waterproof down jacket, uh, if I don't get this one in the next few days, I'm probably just gonna save up some money and get this just because I, I really want it and I think it's gonna be great. It's just instead of layering my Prima Loft jacket underneath another jacket that I have or underneath my my uh, quilted jacket, then the packable waterproof down jacket is definitely going to be probably my top pick on the list. In black, not in the carbon navy or the orange. And then the main mountain parka is going to be great. I would definitely get this if I was going to be, if I was in the market for a warm winter jacket, it's probably going to be a bit warmer than the waterproof down jacket. But this one also has like more of like a classic style, doesn't have any branding, whereas the waterproof down jacket has branding right on the chest area. And the Mountain Classic jacket, again, this is a nice, casual, cheap jacket if you want. Not very warm, not very structured. It just felt kind of cheap to me. So that's the L.L. Bean store. That's some of their jackets they have. Overall, my recommendations would be the waterproof packable down jacket. That's quite expensive at over $300, but I think that you're going to get super lightweight, super warm. It, comes, it has a hood. It's minimal. Get it in black. It's going to be waterproof. Again, the water L.L. Bean jackets are super waterproof. I would also look at the main mountain parka because that one seems good as well. It's a bit more of a classic parka jacket look, and it might be warmer than the waterproof down jacket. The mountain classic, you can get it if you want, just like a nice casual jacket. Maybe you just want something to throw on. That one's going to be totally fine. Me, I'm trying to get rid of stuff, so I don't need extra jackets. And then that overshirt is going to be something that's nice just to throw on over a over a flannel or just throw on over a t-shirt if it's an early fall day or a late spring day. So that's LL Bean. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped. Remember to, remember to consider subscribing if you like the content. It's totally free. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.